In question 5, the problem statement says that two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 3. If they differ by 18, what are the numbers? So two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 3. We don't know the numbers, but we know their ratio. We also know that the two numbers differ by 18, which means that the larger number is 18 more than the smaller number. And using these two pieces of information, we have to find the two numbers. So let's start by assuming uh, both numbers, writing both numbers in terms of some variable. We know that the two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 3. So what we can do is we can assume that the two numbers are 5x and 3x. Why 5x and 3x? Because five, if we take the two numbers to be 5x and 3x, their ratio will be 5 is to 3. So that's that's what we uh, start with, the two numbers being 5x and 3x. Now we are told that they differ by 18. So the larger number, which is 5x, is 18 more than the smaller number. So we can write this piece of information like this, 5x minus 3x, the difference between the larger and the smaller number, this should be equal to 18. And this gives us an, equ an equation in x that we can solve to find the value of x. So 5x minus 3x is equal to 2x. So we get 2x is equal to 18. And now we have this 2 on the LHS, which we have to get rid of. So let's divide both sides of the equation by 2. We will get x is equal to 18 by 2. And 18 by 2 is 9. So we will get x is equal to 9. But what we have found so far is the value of x. What we need to do is to find the value values of the two numbers. So the two numbers are 5x and 3x. So from here we can find their values. So the larger number is equal to 5x or 5 into 9. 5 into 9 is 45. And the smaller number is 3x. And 3x will be equal to 3 into 9 or 27. So the two numbers are 45 and 27 and we can verify that this answer is correct. These two numbers differ by 18, which is what is given to us in the statement. And they also have a ratio of 5 is to 3. You can see that if you take the ratio 45 is to 27, in the simplest form, it will be 5 is to 3. So the answer is the two numbers are 45 and 27. And that completes question 5. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.